we present a new data-driven method for virtual try-on that effectively addresses garment body collisions. Our model produces detailed garment deformations for any pose and body shape, and avoids collisions with the underlying body even in sequences far from the training data. We also validate our method in complex garments that exhibit highly dynamic effects, such as this asymmetric dress. Our garment model is built on top of a new extension of the simple body model. Our key difference is to extend body properties such as skinny weights of blend shapes to any 3D points around the body. We leverage these properties to define a new model for clothing that represents garment deformations in an unposed and deshaped canonical space. Importantly, in this canonical space, all garment deformations are represented with respect to a constant body mesh. As we'll show later, this is a fundamental property to efficiently learn garment deformations and to reliably handle garment body collisions. Another key benefit of our diffuse body model is that it allows us to dynamically update the skinning parameters. Therefore, even when the garment slides over the body surface, correct skinning weights are retrieved, and clothing does not interpenetrate the body after skinning. We leverage the novel canonical space to learn a generative subspace of garment deformations using a variational autoencoder. Since garment deformations are represented with respect to a constant body mesh, we can randomly sample deformations from the latent space and solve the corresponding garment body collisions in a self-supervised manner. This way, we learn a subspace of garment deformations in which all points map to a collision-free configuration. In contrast, previous methods only penalize collisions for the subsets of training samples. At runtime, we use a recurrent regressor to predict encoded deformations. Since collisions are already handled in the subspace, training the regressor doesn't require any additional consideration. The prediction of the regressor is lifted to the full space by the decoder, and the final result is obtained by adding the blend shapes and applying linear blend skinning. To generate the training data, we need to project run to simulations into our canonical space. To do so, we formulate the projection as an optimization problem. Here we compare the results of our optimization with other approaches. Unposing the data with constant skinning weights introduces collisions in unpose, and computing variable weights with nearest vertex search suffers from very noticeable artifacts. In contrast, our optimization avoids those artifacts while having much better temporal stability. Here we show a qualitative comparison with the state-of-the-art data-driven garment models in a test sequence. Without using any post-process step, our work directly outputs garment configurations with rich garment details that do not interpenetrate with the underlying body. The results from Taylornet and Santesteban et al. are produced using their own official implementations. We now evaluate the ability of our method to generalize to unseen body shapes. Here we interpolate between two real shapes from the AMAS dataset, unseen at training time. Our approach successfully predicts collision-free garment deformations even for extreme shapes far from the training set. A post-processing step can solve small collisions at the expense of higher computational cost, but it fails in the most severe cases. To emphasize the robustness and generalization capabilities of our approach, here we show a very challenging test sequence and visually compare with a physics-based simulation. Our method successfully predicts highly realistic fine wrinkles and cloth dynamics. In this comparison, we show that our motion descriptor improves the generalization capabilities of the recurrent regressor.
Here we visualize the fundamental contribution of our work, the generative space of Garmin deformations. Specifically, we show how randomly sampling the space generates highly realistic deformations that do not suffer from collisions. Finally, to demonstrate the efficiency of our method, here we show a live recording of our interactive demo using test sequences from the AMAS dataset. Notice how our approach enables us to interactively manipulate the shape parameters of the avatar, while producing highly realistic garment deformations.